Hi, I'm Hannah. I'm an entrepreneur and I love numbers. Over the last two decades, I've had the opportunity to learn a lot of things and many valuable life lessons. From leaving school at the age of 16 to venturing into different businesses and different industries, I survived 15 years of my life on an average of three to four hours of sleep, sometimes with no sleep at all for three to four days in a row. At the age of 18, I almost had a nervous breakdown trying to juggle one full-time job and four part-time jobs while trying to meet the requirements of my college scholarship. At 26, due to a bad investment decision, I exhausted my life savings and was on the brink of falling into depression. A few years later, I was diagnosed with a brain tumour. Not long after, I underwent the second of three ovarian cyst surgeries. Due to contractual obligations, within that month, I was back on my feet performing on my Japanese debut promo tour in 40 stores throughout Japan while enduring much pain caused by internal bleeding. It's been a roller coaster ride, but I consider myself really fortunate to have all these hidden opportunities to grow. And I wouldn't be here sharing my story with you today if it weren't for the two teachers that helped shape my mindset towards learning and life in general. Mom was my very first teacher and I was homeschooled until I started primary one. She taught me how to read, write and how to articulate my thoughts. It was also because of her that I learned to appreciate subjects I never really liked geography and history. The other teacher that helped shape my life was a very strict Chinaman. Ad maths became my favourite subject in school because of him. Come to think of it, I wouldn't have been able to graduate as a valedictorian with a degree in computer science and IT if it weren't for him. He helped cultivate my love for numbers and logic right from the very start. And although Malay wasn't his strong suit, it was because of him that I got an A1 in BM for SBM. He used to buy me Malay newspapers and books and asked me to translate them to English so that I could improve my comprehension and grammar. My parents taught me how to learn and this in turn allowed me to help others do the same. They taught me the value of paying it forward. Today, my parents commit their time teaching and volunteering in the rural areas of East Malaysia because they believe that education should be available to all and not just exclusively to those who can afford it. I believe that teachers play a very important role in building our nation and I support Teach for Malaysia's mission to empower students across the country. You can too by becoming a monthly donor at teachformalaysia.org.